Yo, what's going on YouTube? Um, if you haven't heard, Earl, Earl Spence was in a car accident uh, not too long ago. As you can see here, you can see the wreckage. Um, man, it was bad, man. It was bad. But if you just uh, look up online, uh, type in Earl Spence, they got um, security footage, you know, of him of the car flipping over like several times. It got two different uh view viewpoints. Um yeah man, he it was like late at night, uh like three o'clock in the morning. Uh I think it was either Monday Monday or Tuesday but whatever man. He, you know, he, he was in the car accident. It was bad news. It was it was, it was just it was devastating news, man, especially in the YouTube boxing community. But um yeah, he was hospitalized. Uh, several stories came out within, you know, like within like 24 hours of the accident from him being like from uh, being a serious to critical to him being in a stable condition and everything like that. Last I heard uh, that he's uh, in, in good health, man. You know, he's supposed to be in good health. Um, you know, he has visitors and everything like that at the hospital. But uh, he's expected to make uh, a full recovery and everything like that. So anyway, the story goes is that he was in a Ferrari, uh, I guess speeding, lost control of the car, uh, must have been a drop top, you know, a convertible. But uh, he didn't have a seatbelt on. Um, but yeah, you know, and he he flew out the vehicle, so the vehicle was totaled. You know, his Ferrari was total, but uh, they found him laying uh, unresponsive on the road, you know, so he was ejected from the vehicle. Um, it was some reports saying that he had lost some teeth or whatever like that, but uh, either way it goes, uh, last report I heard is that he doesn't have any major injuries or anything like that. He's in stable condition. Um, he, no, no fractures, no broken bones or anything like that. That's what's being told as of right now. Uh, I think via, uh, Radio Raheem seconds out. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, um, it's a lot of stuff that's been coming up, you know, whether he's been drinking or whatnot, it's been some allegations out there that he's, um, uh, having like a, uh, you know, drinking problem and stuff like that. This is Earl Spence right here, man. Two-time uh, 147 champion, you know, IBF champ and WBC champ. He just got uh, through, I think it was like, what, September uh, 28th, you know, uh, uh, defeating uh, Sean Porter uh, by split decision, uh, captured his uh, WBC uh, 147 belt and uh, whatnot. Um, and they, these guys were going back and forth, you know, talk about a rematch, running the back. They did decent uh, pay-per-view numbers. Back-to-back, uh, -back, he got over, like, um, with Mikey Garcia and Sean Porter as his opponents, over uh, 300,000 know, pay-per-view buys and, and whatnot. So, dude's definitely a pay-per-view star and whatnot. But, um, yeah, man, Houston native, um Man of Jamaica descent, you know, um, uh, Olympian, U.S. Olympian, uh, you know, uh, you know, he's so he's he's decorated, man. You know, what I'm saying high profile guy, um, humble guy, man, man, a, a man of few words, man, a man of few words, uh, Earl Spence, you know. He's a man of few words. Uh, South Paul. I think I think he fights South Paul. Yeah, he fights South Paul. But um, yeah, man, dude, man. I mean, just just looking at the accent and everything like that, man. You know that he he had an angel next to him, man. He had an angel next to him. You know, God was looking out for him, man. God was definitely looking out for him. He definitely had an angel looking out for him, man. Um, yeah, timing is everything, man. Timing is everything. Uh, hopefully, he learns his lesson, man. Hopefully, he learns his lesson. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to figure out, like, 
like when when would these you know guys learn lessons from other boxers because the guy he was calling out when he was coming up back in like 2015 was Keith Thurman. That was the guy he wanted, and Keith Thurman, um, just before he was getting in a fight with Sean Porter, got in an accident with his 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 car. You know, Keith Thurman was trying to get into like the racing scene and everything like that from uh, one of the guys that um was supposed to be like friends with Keith Thurman left a. Uh, comment on my channel saying like he knows Keith Thurman and whatnot but in uh, Keith Thurman was getting into these fast cars you know going to these like racing events and stuff like that they'd be holding out in these uh places out in the uh the Midwest not not the Midwest but the um I want to say the West Coast but uh out there in like Arizona or whatnot man the, the Sun Belt but um, uh, any anyway, man. Long long story short, man. That's oh crap, man. Um, oh, I mean, I mean, we had Paul Williams with the motorcycle and everything like that. We lost Dale Corrales. I think he was riding a motorcycle, and you have um. a whole bunch of other legends, man. You know, I I can't think of them. You know, I know I. I can think of them. Uh, I think they say Carlos Monzon and uh, the Salvador Sanchez and stuff like that, and these accidents and stuff like that. But they, you know, these were just regular car accidents. But these guys weren't like racing. The only thing I can think is that that can compare to it is Keith Thurman as of right now, modern day. You know, there's there's something that's re recent. Keith Thurman just before he was going against Sean Porter. Uh, I like a uh, uh, opponent that they share, uh, Earl Spencer, Keith Thurman, and Sean Porter. Keith Thurman got in a car accident just before he was fighting uh, Sean Porter. He, you know, he 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 suffered some uh, some injuries. You know, I guess with his shoulder or whatnot. But yeah, man. Ho hopefully these guys, you know, learn, man. But I I'm not sure. I don't know if it's, they they got an addiction with the adrenaline uh, adrenaline rush. And everything like that. Um, we know some of these boxers. Uh, you know they, they. They. I mean they. They fighters, man. They fighters, and it's like a high. You know what I'm saying? It's like a natural high. And um, you know some of these guys. You know get hooked on drugs and stuff like that, trying to match that high. You know, as far as like the event is concerned, uh, the notoriety. And they don't want to turn it off, man. They don't want to turn off that high. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they really don't want to turn off that high. And I, I think that's what it is, man. They don't want to turn off that high. So it's that it's it's that a drilling and rush, you know, that they want to uh, sustain. You know, they they want to sustain after they get out of that ring. They still they still want that rush. You know. And that notoriety, because they, they, you know, be the center of attention and stuff like that. They're not getting that outside the ring. But uh, when they get in that ring, as far as the ring, uh, the ring walk and everything like that, you, you hear a lot of these old time fighters, man. It's hard for them to retire because you know you got the build up, the promotion, and everything like that, uh, the interviews. And everything they, they they miss that, and then when once it's gone, you know it's all they, they don't get it on a day to day basis. And uh, as of late, you know, in the past couple of years, past like you know ten years or, or so, you know, uh, we had small little outlets as far as the YouTube boxing community, as far as like get, getting interviews with these guys. I mean, that's why they do it. That's why they go on these uh, small little small channels. And, and and whatnot, and conversate, um, and, and you know, and fellowship with some of the YouTube channels, and these blogs, these these small little media channels, because they get the opportunity to um, you know, to be heard, to be seen, man. You know, uh, as far as like the major networks, you know, um, you know, interviewing them and stuff like that, they don't get that all the time. You know what I'm saying? And um. Yeah, they dedicate their life to this, you know, the sport of boxing and stuff like that. And 
you, you can say it's the ego, man. It's, it's the ego. At the end of the day, they, they're only human. You know, it's, uh, it's it's not every day that you know you get all that praise and stuff like that. You know, you get the money and everything. And um, it's a small community. You know, you know in, in, in your little community, your little town and everything. You know, you got the... And for some of these guys, uh, you know, he's... He's fighting out of Houston. He probably got the keys to the city and everything. And it's it's hard to replace that when it, when it's gone. You know, you never know when you're gonna get it back. But um, yeah, he's young man. I think it's twenty nine going on thirty. Um, Earl Spence. Hopefully, he's able to um. Settle down, man. He's got kids, man. Uh, they say he got two daughters. He's got a lot of stuff going for him. He got a uh, house and everything like that, possibly in Jamaica, because he's he's of Jamaican descent. Uh, hopefully he's able to just settle down, man. Hopefully that 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 Ferrari can go to the junkyard, and he just, you know, gets it, you know, gets a chance to contemplate things and stuff like that, man. And they wonder why Keith Thurman left. And went off to the mountains, got married and stuff like that. But because it's more to life. It's more to life than just uh, boxing. And Sean Porter said, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and big ups to Sean Porter, man. He showed a lot of his, you know, support for Keith, uh, for uh, Earl Spence. And said, you know, uh, his father always told him, like, you know, um, you know, you know, boxing just... A small piece of your life and everything like that, and you want to carry on afterwards. And um, but you you more than just you know boxing at the end of the day. So um, yeah, man. Uh, God, you know, God bless him, man. God bless him, man. I, I I think God was with him. God had to be with him. It was it was a good thing he had that seatbelt on. You know, it was good. It was a good thing that he was in folly. You know, at the end of the day, um, yeah, man, you know, God's plan, man. You know, God, God wasn't ready for him to go. You know, so hopefully he can be humble with this situation and, and fight on. You know, what I'm saying fight on, carry on with his career, his boxing career. Or uh, uh, whatever he decides to do, but um, yeah, man. Other than that, he he's 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 supposed to be good, man. Good to go. Um, maybe he should take next year off, and I even come back to boxing, you know, just to reflect. But uh, yeah, he's got plenty of time. He just uh won the WBC belt. Um. Uh, you know, with Sean Porter and everything like that, he took his belt, so he's a two-time champion and whatnot. Maybe the IBF, you know, um, you know, and, and the WBC give him a little grace period, you know, to get himself together. But it, it, if we do see him come back, it'd probably be later on in like 2020. But as of right now, we don't know the extent of the, the rehab and everything like that. You know, I mean, being in a car accident, you know, especially the one he was in, it's, it's no joke, man. Um, you you got to think about the mental aspect. As far as him, we, we don't know if he's traumatized or anything like that. He might have uh, post-traumatic sh- stress, um, which is warranted, you know what I'm saying? I mean, dude flipped out of a car. Uh, he probably doesn't even want to box no more, for all we know. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, man, he's got he's got a lot of he's got a lot of recovery, you know, to uh, deal deal with uh, mentally, spiritually, and physically. You know, everything has to be together and stuff like that. Uh, I'm expecting him to pick up uh, some weight. You know, after this. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if his next fight is at 154 pounds. And then, because, uh, you know, with the rehab and everything like that, he's 
we we don't know. And the, the, they saying he is a uh, he likes to drink and everything like that. We we don't know what he's gonna do during his uh, time of recovery. We don't know what he's gonna fall back on in order uh, to try to get his mind right. You know what I'm saying? We don't know uh, whether he's gonna fall back on uh, more drinking. Or it's gonna be less drinking. Or what, if he is, uh, you know, a man who likes to uh, drink, as what's being rumored. But other than that, um, Earl Spence, man, God bless, man. Wish you the best. All right, man, let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all later. All right, bye.